Hi, so this is a very quick video for Comfy UI, so I'm making it sort of as I discover um, how to use the program. So um, here you see my setup. Uh, those of you who know how to build up the various units will see this is quite a straightforward image to image setup with a couple of LoRa's, and it's the setup I use to um, test LoRa's really to see if they have any effect or not. But this video is about using Photoshop in combination uh, with Comfy UI to affect and refine different parts of the image to different degrees. And uh, that might not be immediately obvious, but uh, I think as soon as you see what I'm doing in Photoshop, you will um, understand what I'm up to. So the small image is the um, source image. Uh, Denoise is at 60, so 40% um, of the image is being changed. All the LoRa's are set at... Um, at uh, one, is, one is at 0.75, the other at 0.5, so, so um, they're, they're set fairly strong. And they're strong LoRa's anyway. That's uh, NV or Wish Architecture in. NV, Fantasy Art Deco, which are all quite frilly. I, and, but they're, they're good to, to do this setup with because the, the effects are easy to be seen. So what I'm going to describe is how I process this image here and to control how much these LoRa's influence different areas, i.e. how much each area in this gets mutated and changed. So we're going to Photoshop now. So here we are in Photoshop um, and here is our base image. And what I've done is duplicate the layer and I've added noise to it to, to degrade the image. So I've added 33% noise. So what we want to do now is have a look in Comfy and what we'll do, we'll load the noise into here and we'll see what we get. That's what we get without the nose noise. So let's see what we get. Okay, so there it is. And as you see, it's pretty funky. <laughs> it's uh, it's really gone to town on the Elvin architecture. There's uh, only a tiny little bit of sky left and almost no river. So that is not necessarily what I want. So I like the change, but the um, it it's wholesale. But you see how it has improved the detail and the magicalness of the whole lot to the previous one. But what I want is that to happen in different amounts in different areas. So if we zip back to Photoshop, here we are in Photoshop. Um, so what I've got, I've got my noise layer and what I've done is uh, cut out using, using the smart lasso thingy. I've cut out the foreground and the sky and the river. So here's the original image and what I've done is separate the background from the foreground. So if we um, take away this layer, see I separate, that's the foreground, and then all the rest is there. So I've separated them out. And here is my noise layer. So what I'm going to do is I want the sky to be much less changed. So I reduce the opacity of the sky to 75. So you see it's only a little bit of noise on the sky. And I reduce the opacity of the castle to 15. Here we go. So what we've got is an image with different degrees of noising in different areas. And what I do is I flatten that into one file and uh, save it off and I can load that into Comfy. Right, here we are back in Comfy and I will load the noise mix file in, in there and then we'll generate again. Here we go. Right, here it is back and we'll have a look at it. As you see, the river is now retained in its all banks. Our sky is just a sky and not an art deco fantasy and our river and our bridge all making good sense. So we've left the sky more or less the same. We could have left it completely the same if we'd have put no noise on it. And we have updated in the fantasy style just our foreground and the bridge. So you can now row back on the Loras. So we'll uh, tame the Loras a little. We'll go down to 0.3 on that one and down to 0.3 on that one as well. And we'll prompt that again. So here's that back. And as you see, we have a very nice image that is, our sky is good, our castle is fancied up, but not completely mad. So with this method, you've got complete control really on how much each area is sewn. So it's slightly different from in painting, uh, which I would use in a different way, but, uh, but, but this is, makes more subtle changes and very nicely controllable. So I can make very small changes and, uh, 
and even specific changes but we'll um, we'll do that next so here we are back in Photoshop and I have uh, cut out our um, uh, uh, the bit of building I want to mess about with and uh, I've noised it and then I cut the same area out again and uh, change its uh, colour and, and uh, hue and then I percentage that over the top uh, I'm going to do about to where it looks all right uh, 40, 43 43 43 looks quite nice so and then we uh, and then we flatten that uh, and save it as a as a, as a separate file and then we go back into comfy and run that and I've and then this is the result and these are the changes I've made I've added a different Laura uh, a steampunk Laura and I've prompted for that as well so I've put some steampunky um, words and descriptions in there I have actually experimented with the uh, denoise so for denoise if it's zero this image won't change if it's one the whole image will change so I, I found by, you have to find it by trial and error. I found by trial and error, 41, 0.41 is about right. And um, so this is the result. And as you see, we have a very steampunky ground floor with a pretty elven architecture palace rising above the rest. So, and you can do this as many times as you want, really. You can do this sort of thing in painting, but I find in painting a pretty crude tool and this nicely um, merges uh, the two different styles together and a lot of um, AI stuff especially in this fantasy architecture sort of stuff I, I find there's no variety in it it's all one sort of building it's all it's all swoopy modern stuff or um, or, uh, or gothic or medieval or whatever but you can't mix the two but uh, by using this method you can of course so I hope that was informative for people and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video thank you very much